Good morning everyone, welcome back. Today's video is a bit different and a bit experimental, so please bear with me if it turns out to be a little bit crap. But I kind of wanted to do a what I eat in a day video, but they're also not very me and sometimes I don't love watching them. So I thought today I would do a kind of vlog slash what I eat in a day, but also show you what I bought yesterday from Planet Organic, which is like a health food store. If I did a very honest what I eat in a day, just to be fully transparent here, I would probably not have breakfast. Some days I do, if I am can be bothered to come downstairs. Some days I just get ready, upstairs in my bedroom and like start filming the video straight away and then it gets to 12 o'clock and I'm ravenous. And then if we've got something to eat for lunch, for lunch, like maybe like a tomato soup or some leftovers from dinner the night before or a bit of pasta or something or a bit of rice um, with like veg, I'll just like figure out what's here. If not, I will walk up to my local cafe and get a bagel with salmon and cream cheese. Then I'll probably have a cup of tea in the afternoon um, maybe some like matzo, which is like a massive cracker with like peanut butter on it and then I'll have dinner with Rich. That is what I honestly eat in a day. But today's video is more of like a what I want to eat in a day. So yesterday I was near Planet Organic, which is like one of my favourite health food stores and I just thought like I'm here. So this happens sometimes. If I'm organised enough I'll be like, oh, I'm working all day from home tomorrow. I'm gonna need stuff to eat and drink, so let's just get some of my favorite stuff. So I'm not forcing myself to eat stuff I don't like. That's not what's happening today. I would, ge I genuinely eat all of these things and love them. Um, I'm just too lazy and disorganized to get around to actually buying any of them. And also, they're, it's a treat, they're quite expensive, so this isn't like an everyday thing at all. So I don't know if that kind of makes sense, but I love watching like food hauls. So I thought I can kind of show you what I bought whilst I eat it throughout the day. Is this video going to make any sense? I just don't know. But I'm, the only thing I think I can show you which I'm not going to be eating today is an empty packet of spaghetti. We've already, we had spaghetti last night so we had to empty it out into our like jar. But this is the Biona Spelt Spaghetti which is quite difficult to find annoyingly because this is the only pasta I can really eat at home. When I eat pasta in Italian restaurants, if it's like a true Italian restaurant and they use something called zero zero flour, then I'm okay. But any other kind of like white pasta or even brown pasta gives me the worst stomach ache. So when I'm at home, I have spelt spaghetti and I really love it and would highly recommend it. It cooks faster than normal white pasta and it just doesn't leave you with that like heavy bloated feeling but I promise you it tastes exactly the same. I'm the sort of person that doesn't like like the taste of weird pastas. Um, it tastes just like normal white pasta but yeah like I said you don't get that bloated feeling at the end when you're done. So that is what I bought and I can throw that packet away now and then everything else I think I will show you as I go. So it's now half past nine. I've been upstairs getting ready. Like I said, I normally wake up, brush my teeth, have a shower, whatever, and then I just get ready. I don't like come down for breakfast and then go back up. I don't know why I don't get that hungry in the morning. I think I have quite a big dinner and probably later than most people we eat around like eight o'clock. And I've just never been like a morning person. I do like breakfast and I can eat breakfast, it's more that I just don't need to. I don't like wake up starving. But when I do, I have a couple of favorite breakfasts. I either make porridge with some fruit and maple syrup or I have like half a bagel with peanut butter or cream cheese. I really like the onion bagels mixed with cream cheese, delish. Another breakfast that I really enjoy, which is in here, is the Biona. I really like this Biona brand. I seem to love everything they do. It's the granola, the honey hazelnut one. So I don't know if this is particularly good for you, honestly, because it's so sweet. It says, sweetened only with organic honey and lovingly baked into munchy golden clusters. Okay, so it's, it's just honey. Um, I'm fine with that. I'm not like a super healthy person, but it tastes good. And I like to put a little bit of milk with it. Um, we usually have skimmed milk in this house. Um, Rich has like oat milk and all of those things. So we tend to have a mix. It just depends what I feel like on the day. Um, and maybe some fruit. I've got some raspberries that I also bought yesterday. I don't know if it's weird to have raspberries with milk. That sounds weird, but I don't think it is. I only put like a tiny bit of milk in just to like soften them a bit. So this is what they look like. You can see the kind of little clusters. And I'm gonna make some of that for my breakfast now. And then I'll show you the rest of the stuff as the day goes on. 
There it is, granola, a little bit of milk, a little bit of raspberries. I know this looks like a tiny portion, but as I said, I don't get that hungry in the morning. It's worth mentioning as well that I am working from home today. So compared to some of you that might commute into work and get there and just be starving. I remember when I used to work into a, in an office job, by 10.30 I was absolutely starving. I've literally just walked down the stairs. So I think my portion sizes are gonna be a bit smaller. I get really hungry at dinner time. That's where I have my biggest meal, which I know you're not really supposed to do. Whilst I sit down to eat my breakfast, I am gonna start on my emails and tasks for today. It's 11.30 and I'm gonna pour myself a drink because I'm really bad at drinking enough. I never do. Um, I kind of find water a little bit boring to drink and so it doesn't motivate me to have any. So yesterday when I was at Planet Organic, I got myself my favorite coconut water, which is the Rebel one. Um, some of them, I don't love Vita Coco. I actually don't really like any of the other coconut waters apart from this one. They all taste a little bit like bad breath to me, but this one tastes really good. And it's just raw coconut water. Um, I think it's to do with when they pick the coconuts, which affects the flavour. So I just got a big one of this. I'm going to pour some into a glass. I'm such a slow drinker, so I'm not going to overfill it because I know I won't drink it all. But look, it's pink. It's just like so hydrating coconut water. Tastes delish. Rocco's popped round to say hi. So I thought I'd show you his what he eats in a day. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> What have you got here? He's got a fritter, which is made from squash, yeah. sweet potato, yeah. courgettes, and peas, mm. and some cucumber and some baby bell. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> it's better than my lunch. Cup of tea at 10 to 12. It's 12.30, so it's not quite time for lunch yet, but I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna show you one of the things I bought for a snack, dried mango. Delish. So I'm gonna have some of this now. It's lunchtime, and luckily I was very organized with my little haul yesterday. So it's actually in the fridge because I got it yesterday, obviously. But I've tried this before. My sister recommended it to me, and it's so delicious. It's by a brand called Tan Popo Japanese Food, and it's burdock and carrot poke. I don't know how to say poke. Pokey? Pokey? Rice salad. So it's like rice and veg. And it doesn't look that exciting, but it's the most delicious thing. It's like so well seasoned. It's so yum, so I'm really excited, and it's quite a small portion, so sorry, I'll probably have like a mid-afternoon snack. So I'm gonna have this, probably some more coconut water as well. This is what it looks like. It's so delicious, and there's like rice at the bottom. Mm. Just walked around to my sister's house because it's so sunny. I needed to get a bit of air. I had a minstrel, one minstrel. Okay, let's talk snacks because this is where things get good. I've already shown you the dried mango, which I had the entire packet. Definitely not healthy. But other things that I bought that I'm obsessed with, toasted corn. This is the one from Love Corn, which is sea salt flavoured. I think my favourite one is when it's not flavoured. It's just toasted corn. Um, but I don't think this brand does plain one. But this is like as plain as it gets. And they look like that. They're like little bits of corn. And they're so addictive. Me and Rich will go through like a whole pack of these um, this evening. I'm going to try and hold off because... They're so addictive, like once you start, you literally can't stop. And then the other thing, which I've already had two of these, I had two yesterday, are the Panda Natural um, Licorice. I've talked about these before, the Raspberry Licorice. They are so good and they're really like filling. So these are sort of things I would like to throw in my bag if I know I'm gonna get hungry and need a snack. So these are what I've got to pick from this afternoon. I'm gonna hold off yet, because I'm not that hungry yet. I'm gonna go do some work, um, film a video upstairs, and then I might have a cup of tea that'll keep me going for a bit longer. And then this will be my like 4.30, 5 o'clock snack before having dinner later. I have just been working away for the past few hours. Um, I've done well, it's actually five o'clock, but we're quite late eaters. Um, I know it's not really good for you to have a late dinner, but Rich doesn't get home from work like earlier seven on a good day, which I think is pretty normal. I don't know if it's dependent on where you live, some people I know husbands get back earlier, but I think when you have a normal office job, seven's quite a normal time to be home. Um, so that's on like an early day. So we don't eat till like eight, cause I'll probably, we'll probably start cooking when he gets back. Or you know, I'm not like a waiting wife with dinner when he gets back, cause I normally work up until he gets home. Um, I think I am gonna cook a bit earlier tonight though, saying that just because I have to wash my hair. So if I cook earlier and then wash my hair, I'll have, still have time for TV watching. Oh my God, I haven't actually been looking at myself. What do I look like? So anyway, it's five o'clock and I'm a little bit hungry. So I am going to have some corn. It's gonna get very addictive. The salt is definitely gonna hurt my lips, but 
um, I'm a bit hungry. I'm also gonna have some more coconut water because these are gonna make me thirsty. This is what the corn looks like. Seriously, try it guys. I used to get like a really cheap one from my local news agents that was also delicious. It's just so good. So it's now 6.30, I finished work. Rich said he's gonna be back late, so I'm gonna make dinner now. Normally I would wait, but I wanna wash my hair tonight and I need to leave it to dry naturally and it's gonna go huge and frizzy and you just, got, you guys don't need to see that. So as soon as I'm filming, I thought I'm gonna make dinner a little bit earlier. I'm gonna be making a Spanish butter bean stew with fragrant rice. I've mentioned before that we are doing HelloFresh and we're still really loving it. Some nights, to be honest, I can't be bothered to like cook a proper meal and I'd rather just like make some pasta or do something else kind of easier. Um, so that's the only time I don't love it. But most of the time I, I always, I never regret it. Once I actually get my act to death, together and like cook it it's only like six steps um i never regret it it's always so yummy last night we had like a pork biryani or something and it was so good so this one spanish butter bean stew we haven't done this before so i'm gonna get my little bag out of the fridge which has everything i need in it so in here is everything i need which i just love literally has like butter beans courgette oh that feels a little bit soft Parsley, chopped tomatoes, a lemon. Also, it's really handy because they have like stock and the little flavorings and stuff as well. I guess it's quite a lot of plastic packaging. I'm sure people are going to comment on that. Shallot. Okay, well, wow, there's quite a lot actually. Normally, there's not this much stuff. So, on this side, it shows you what it looks like, how long it's going to take, all the ingredients you need, and then on this side, are the six steps and I do find it quite stressful sometimes. I'm like, ah, oh, what do you do when? Too many steps. And then like here's where it says the measurements and the whole kitchen will become very chaotic in about 10 minutes time. Um, we haven't got much work surface area. We've got this little bit here and then this little bit here, which is actually really small. So I find that a little bit tricky in this kitchen. I cannot wait for our new kitchen. Right, so I'm gonna read the first two steps, see what I need to do and kind of get going with this. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is toast the flaked almonds. I mean, that's if I can open the packaging. Just says, toast until golden and then set aside. So what I like to do is look at the next step to see what's coming up. Okay, I've got the shallot and vegetable stock and rice cooking in there. I just need to like bring that to a boil and then simmer it for a while. I've toasted the almonds. So next, I think it's something to do with courgette. Okay, I'm just softening the other half of the shallot. I mean, I'm not reading this out so that you guys could follow the recipe. It's far too complicated to do that. But I think now I need to add courgette. So all the little spices are in these little pots, which makes it so easy because you don't have to measure anything out. So I just know to add oregano and paprika. For me, it's the spices that make my HelloFresh cooking better than my normal cooking because when I cook, I can cook, but it's pretty basic and I wouldn't know like what sort of spices to add to make it a bit fancier. So. That's what I can, that's how I can like taste the difference, I think, since doing it. The rice is pretty much cooked in there. I've just added the butter beans to the courgette and tomatoes, and now I'm gonna be adding some spinach. Crazy what a shallot and bit of vegetable stock can do to rice. This tastes so good. So I've served up the rice, and then I've got the butter bean stew going here, looking and smelling good. Pretty sure it's done. So I'm just gonna put some of this onto the rice, and then this is like the salsa. So it's like parsley, um, toasted almonds and black olives, a bit of lemon zest, that's gonna go on top. Okay, so this is the final dish. Well, this is the final dish with the salsa on it, and um, that one's for Rich. I sometimes tend to skip the like extra bits because that's normally where all like the parsley and the stuff that I'm not a massive fan on lies. So I'm giving Rich the salsa because he'll like that, but I think I'm just gonna have mine like this and it smells so good. I'm very excited to dig in. Rich isn't home from work yet, but I'm gonna go eat this alone on the sofa and he can have his when he gets back. Sorry, I just stabbed you with a fork. I'm gonna cover his in foil to keep it warm. Here, I'm gonna watch Station 19. I watch TV when I eat dinner. I sit on the sofa when I eat dinner. I think it's fine. We do sometimes make an effort to sit at the dining table when we're both eating together. But I grew up eating dinner on the sofa, so it's very normal to me. I'm gonna try some just to give you guys the taste test. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. And I made it. Okay, I'm gonna eat my dinner and I'll probably check in with you later when I have really frizzy hair 
and I'm probably eating some kind of snack. I'm ending my video looking ridiculous because I'm about to straighten my very frizzy hair. This is what my hair looks like when it dries naturally. Awful. Anyway, I just thought I would tell you that I'm having a cup of tea, which I'm very excited about. What's the time, Rich? 10 o'clock. Cup of tea and one of my licorice things. So that is my what I wish I ate in a day, on a good day. Um, hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you thought. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.